Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart coherence as well get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life we are literally herbivores in nature further balance out your physical body's ph level and get with alkalinity then you can generate some static electricity send me some love telepathically set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate that is all there is to telepathy you are now tuning in to great day Now today, I actually got another astrological read actually on the full moon, which is taking place on August 22nd. And I'm also going to start using the names or the official names of each and every full moon and uh, the significance and phenomenal nature of this moon is it is actually going to be a blue moon as well. So very, very profound full moon that I'm going to cover today. So today's video is sturgeon moon now let's get right into it all right so the name of the full moon for august which is taking place specifically on the 22nd in two days for myself is uh, basically a sturgeon moon or a sturgeon moon and um, you spell it s-t-u-r-g-e-o-n and um, that is the name for the full moon so not only is it going to be a um, full moon but it is also going to be a blue moon which is very, very extraordinary due to the fact that it actually brings us a whole, um, a whole uh, sense of the lunar energies being amplified for much longer than what they would normally be amplified for. And this can make way for a great uh, change or maybe a great um, move to be brought into your life in order to basically make way for a new period of your life to start like a new mandala or even an ending of a prolonged mandala you know so the full moon is actually taking place in aquarius once again i know in july the full moon actually was in aquarius as well so basically it is now going to be the second moon or full moon that is taking place within Aquarius again so we sh we should see a lot of those uh, those same lunar energies coming down being it is within Aquarius we should see a lot of Aquarian energy and in my uh, understanding of this we are basically going to be um, brought a lot of new moves we're going to be opened up more to new possibilities as to what can happen within our life and uh this is very very synchronous with me in the way that i literally just moved in to this place this new place and now um it is basically the time to get moving and get to organizing my life in a whole new uh whole new landscape you know kind of like if it was chess a lot of moves would have just opened up for me and now I get to um, hold a lot of possibility 
as well and this is what these lunar energies in aquarius are bringing to us it is also going to bring us a lot of um, innovative methods of achieving these moves okay and uh, achieving everything that can be brought to us that is new there's also a lot of humanitarianism floating around as well i have been very much more emotionally connected to literally random people for no reason just to literally be a little more considerate and compassionate towards another human being okay um there's also that sense of distantness and emotion emotionlessness as well being aquarius is great at uh, the opposite as well as being uh, very considerate of others okay so these uh lunar aquarian energies are actually very very uh great at bringing in liberation as well and or enlightenment you know liberation is like is basically freedom okay and basically aquarius is great at bringing us to inward liberated state and uh, this could take place through literal processes or it could take place within um, a very short um, moralist moralistic uh, parable type sense of compilation you know um, maybe you're going through a little drama within your life and it calls for learning some uh, or going through different parables that you know you know and this can teach you a lot and this can further liberate you in the end so this is what i feel from the lunar uh, energies from this full moon as well it is a great time to basically come to a restful and nurturing state with those lunar energies but those aquarian energies are highly masculine and highly uh, objective and exteriorizing as well so it is basically um going to mostly have us making new moves you know making a lot of um, possibilities come to us as individuals in order to basically bring together the collective for a gradual awakening of some sort to basically then fit in with the moon shifting into pisces next month you know which is the sign all about spirituality spirituality is also a big centrality in this astrological event due to the fact that aquarius is literally a very very spiritual sign as well being an air sign um fixed and is the water bearer okay and in symbology once again the in symbology once again water is literally symbolizing spirituality or the spirit and basically um the water bearer would then mean the bearer of spirituality which is why aquarius is all about uh, awakening you know it's the age of aquarius as of now as well or it is also called the age of awakening due to the fact that aquarius is all about knowledge and um, even immortality because aquarius is literally uh great and by great i mean it is literally one of aquarius's natural abilities to pull in information very um, profoundly and we see this with technology nowadays we can literally get on the internet and know almost anything just by typing it in and um, yeah Aquarius uses technology to pull in information all throughout the universe so this is also why the significant rise in technology throughout the age of Aquarius as well because Aquarius is literally correspondent to technology just like uh, Mercury would be as well and further um, once again when we are able to pull in such immense information it literally expands the consciousness of all humanity via knowledge because when we are pulling in information from all over the universe we are pulling in knowledge and knowledge is power and with enough power we are able to basically transcend any physical nature that we have ever been stuck to or even the ego and this is how uh, aquarius actually bears spirituality okay making way for pisces which is the most or one of the most spiritual signs in the zodiac so there's a lot of spirituality being centralized upon within this astrological event or this full moon or this stargian moon and um yeah i just thought that you should be aware and ready for 
any structure or bounded um, course that you have taken in life to be completely demolished and by this I mean that maybe you are in a routine maybe you are um, a little more physical in nature maybe you are more structurized and more precise and more um, more concrete you know this full moon is also going to allow us to completely break away from that routine that structure and that concreteness that you have been um, building as of now in order to have it crumble like a like a house of cards you know and then you would then uh, be able to make way for a completely new and better routine or even a better structure or even a better concrete nature that you have been building up until now so basically it is also bringing us to a cleansing period of some sort which is what the moon is all about you know the moon is all about inward cleansing as well as nurturing and um, internalizing oneself to basically come to emotional stability through instability if it needs to and that is also the uh, black and white logical thinking that Aquarius is great at as well so yeah um, I hope you did enjoy the video today actually and I hope I did help you out with the astrological knowledge I hope I did help you out getting getting in tune with the higher cosmological or astrological processes and I hope I did uh, provide enjoyable content for you to basically um, basically come into a state of love to spread it onto another you know so subscribe over here to the left of me and help me reach 50 subs drop a like on the video below me or on the right of me and support the channel once again generate some static electricity from your ethereal body or your spatial body it needs to be strengthened and realized for the collective rise in consciousness i love you guys have a great